So this, this is going to be short and sweet. I did the latest update. What was it? 2023-04 of Home Assistant. It's late night. Didn't expect to do this, but um, the new card entity things with the light and the fan and the covers, they suck. Come on, people. It, they, they look great. I'm, I'll give you that. But check this out. So say if I want to go over here and change this bulb, right? It's blue right now. I, I want to change it to red. Why can't I just change it to red? But I got to click over here, click it to red. How, now I want it 100%. Oh, oh, oh you, you got to go back. Go back. Oh, oh, shit. Clicked off of it. Okay. Whew. Let's change it 100% now. Oh, well, wait a minute. I want to change the color temperature. Oh, oh, color temperature. Oh, oh, temperature. Okay, temperature. Change it there. Okay, good to go. Boom. Really? You've got all this damn room to put shit on. The AARP, Jitterbug, they all call and want their entity things back. And they may be sending some cease and desist. They look nice. But why can't you do this? And look, check this one out. So say I want the blinds. I just want to open them. So what, I got to drag all the way up? Oh, no. Oh, you got the button right here. So, yeah, you got to click the button to open the buttons. <laughs> I don't get the design behind this. Um, but then I want to see the percent if I was manually opening and closing it. Oh, nope, got to do that. You got to go back here. Put the shit side by side. Can we fix this? Holy hell. And I'll believe it when I see it, but I'm sure there's going to be a future upgrade that's going to further take the fans and bury some other stuff off where you have to click two or three times to turn your fan off and on. This is backwards. Just stop. It looks nice, but it functions like crap. And yeah, I'm telling it like it is.